Good morning. It is March 1st, 2020. And I just want to share with you some I woke up at it's I woke up at um 3:30 this morning. And um what, usually when you wake up at that time of the morning, um God will give you some spiritual vision. And I just um, want to share with you um, some thoughts that I ended up writing out uh, this morning early. And I want to start off with um, letting you know, sharing with you about a person I met yesterday. So I met this, um, I'm assuming, young man. I'm not very good at ages anymore. Um, to know how old people are, <laughs> but uh, anyway, we had a, a good talk about life and spirituality and, and um, sustaining life and, and about the evil of the world, and it was just, it was really good, actually, so, um, so I see where, like, this vision that I received this morning had a lot to do with um, this person I met. So I thought I would just share some notes that I had written out this morning. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is a little raspy right now. I guess I need a drink of water. So, um... Let's see, so I'll just read to you some notes here. Um, anyway, I was focused on balance, you know, that, you know, our life um, centered in Christ is balanced. And um, so I was working with the words um, about living a Christ-centered life and trying to kind of you know, assort the words, you know, with uh, mind, body, and soul. So anyway, my notes here, um, I'm just going to share here. It says, let's see, um, you know, we have a lot going on right now in the world, and I guess I have thought a lot about our um, our life, you know, in that, um, okay, I'll just read this to you. Um, if you knew you were about to take your last breath, what God will you choose? You know, will you choose the God who, who created you, the God who created the universe, or will you choose a false god, a little god, um, that's, it could be, you know, in any form of a idol or um, some other person who people look up to as a god that in carnality they have died. So they do not live, they did not conquer death as the true God did your creator. But anyway, um, so with everything that's going on, if you knew you were about to take your last breath, what God will you choose? The God you choose will determine your eternal destiny, life or damnation, good or evil, heaven or hell, based off the life you were living this day, what destination will you end up if if you this day if your last breath is breathed and escapes from you this day this hour or this minute which god would you choose you know i've thought that about that a lot like even in the communist countries you know where they they kill you for choosing the creator god but yet, you know, I think if you possibly choose their God, you know, of course you live. 
whoever their God is. But with what you've seen happening in the world right now with the um, carnivor carnivorous virus, you know, you see like a whole group of people who are really looking at facing the fact that they could be taking their last breath. And, you know, I think in their minds, you know, in the moment, they're not going to choose the God that they are forced to believe in. They're going to choose from the depths of their soul, you know, um, the true God, the, the God who created them. So anyway, those, those are my thoughts. And then, um, so then I was thinking about, um, just kind of writing out the differences between, okay, so you know in life we all have our own cross to bear, and um, these these are just notes that I had put together here. Um, so which cross will you bear? Will you, will you bear the cross of death or the cross of life? I mean, we all have to go through death to experience life, um, just appreciation for life, you know, we, we go through different things in our lives that we feel like we're dying, you know, um, internally or, or spiritually, you know, because of choices we've made in our life or because of things that other people are doing against us. Um, so anyway, I did this little chart here and I know it's all scribbled out here, but <clears throat> Which cross will you bear? Will you bear the cross of death or the cross of life? And, of course, these stem off for, you know, I'm saying, like, um, will you choose Lucifer or will you choose Jesus? You know, if we choose Lucifer, we're choosing death um, because Lucifer, there was no death in the world until um, Adam and Eve had sinned. Then it altered in death, which has been passed from every person that was born after that. You know, we were born with sin in our lives. From the time we were babies, we were born um, of sin, from a background of sin. Um, and that we would experience death physically, you know, from the time we were born um, as our body uh, grows there's a point where physically we will start deteriorating and dying. But anyway, so, oh my goodness. Um, I'm not real good about <laughs> doing something live and especially with my scribbled notes here. Um, so, will we choose, if we choose Lucifer in the ways of the world that appeal to our flesh in our carnal nature, um, and we are led and deceived by the enemy who, who is about hate, is about sin, is about death, he lies and deceives, he tries to steal, kill, and destroy in every area of our lives, um, that will, he'll, he'll still kill and destroy in every area of our life until the depths of hell. I mean, he will lead us to the depths of hell because that's where he is going because he was kicked out of heaven because he decided he wanted to be God himself. God created him to be the most beautiful angel in the heavens and so musically inclined and spiritually gifted in that way. You know that he... Um, I guess, had freedom of choice even in heaven. So, unfortunately, he was um, wanting to be like God and be God himself. So God kicked him out of heaven. And it's just crazy that a third of the angels followed him, followed Lucifer to, the, to, to be kicked out of heaven. It's just crazy. So now we have this demonic realm because of that, you know, but yet, um, yet because of that, you know, and because Adam and Eve did sin, 
by taking from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, so that now they know knowledge of good and evil. And so do we. We all seek for the knowledge of good and evil. We all experience the knowledge of good and evil. Um, but because of that fall in the garden there, you know, we now um, have Jesus who has come to the earth, you know, incarnated in the flesh. Um, the Spirit of God, you know, coming to earth to relate to us, you know, to give us life, to overcome death, to conquer death, you know, so that we will not die in eternal sin anymore, you know, that we will be able to live, um, you know, in a, in a life one day that is spiritually um, pleasing to God, you know, we can live a life on earth spiritually pleasing to God just by managing through his help and his power and through the death of Jesus at the cross who paid the sins of the world, our past, present, and future. Because of that, we are given life. You know, of course we will die a, a physical death, but we are given spiritual life here on earth and we get it uh, when we accept Jesus and the life that he lived, his sacrificial life that he lived. You know, we will um, come to know God in a new way through through um, the, spirit, the sacrifices that Jesus made spiritually, physically, mentally, you know, um, ourselves too, you know. We are a reflection of the life lived, that Jesus lived, because we could live a sacrifice, sacrificial life, a sacrificial life, sorry. Um, anyway, so Jesus, you know, um, altered in, uh, life, you know, breath or breathe, he breathes life into us, you know, uh, Jesus, God breathes life into us, into our being, and then we accept the life of Jesus and that what he lived, all his sacrifices, his birth, his death, his, his life, his resurrection, um, that he is living at the right hand of the Father in heaven right now you know, pleading for us, you know, because um, he wants us to accept him so that we can live life abundantly. Okay, so um, I was thinking about the sustaining life here on earth, you know, and um, thinking about even the soil, you know, what soil have you planted your seeds in? for your future, for your families, um, that will produce life, and what seeds that have been planted in your life will die off, or will grow and live in the muck and miry clay of damnation, or what seeds will spring forth that, you know, what seeds in your life will spring forth that you have planted, that will spring forth in, sorry, um, the nurturing and love and sunlight and cleansing spring water of abundant life lived with eternal purpose that were rooted and grounded in love before the foundations of this world. Looks like my time is just about to run out. Um, fill your life and being with the food physically and spiritually that sustains life live life that produces life and love in every area of your life okay I can tell my time is just about ready to end but these are just some thoughts I want to share with you and I have more to share, but my time's running out. Okay, have a great day. It's Sunday. Look to God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul, and you will be found.